Hi everyone! So today we are together and I am going to show you a special product. It's a product made for all SAC fans. It's called the Collectors and Presentation Briefcase. And uh, so, as you can see, you've got an extra protection coming with the product. And also, I already pre-filled the briefcase with all the knives that uh, I'm quite fine. Uh, I'm quite a fan of. Oh, first of all, here is the briefcase. You get the little Victorinox logo. It's made with a zip. And here you've got a little pocket in which you can put small stuff, papers, whatever. You've got the handle. It's got a nice finish and you can carry it around so that you can show all your Swiss Army knives to your friends. And When you open it, it's funny because they use the black thin cord. When you open it, it's made in three compartments. Here you can put all your bigger knives. Here all the smaller, like classic SDs or yeah, classic Alox. They put an extra layer so that your knives doesn't get uh, dusty or broken when you carry them. And in the middle, you've got the middle-sized knives. So what I'm going to do is it's that I'm going to present you Maybe not knife by knife, but the ones that are really incredible to me. Well, my favorite ones. And also I'm going to show you how reliable this product is. So here we've got the first one, it's the Wine Master. This one is made in uh, olive wood. And uh, just for the... just to show you how resistant these are I'm using the watchmaster to open it that wasn't smooth <laughs> here as you can see you can really grab them and it's not going to break not at all and uh, in the beginning even it's too hard you know uh, I've had trouble putting the knives inside because it's really tough, doable product. So if you didn't know about this one, it's the Wine Master with a very nice corkscrew. And here you've got to press on the red cross to close it back. I love olive wood because you can see all the the wood nerves. It's very nice. <clears throat> all right. Uh, here you've got the Hunter Pro limited edition 2021 with the assorted colors paracords. Here it's the same. It's the 2022 editions, the one that I showed you in a previous video. This one is amazing. It's the um, Onyx Black uh, Ranger Grip 55. What I absolutely love about this this one is that even the blades, even the blades are black. They use the, a PVD treatment. It's not only um, plated. It's really the blade is all black. 
it's treated to have this color so whenever you want to sharpen it the color is not going to fade out and you've got also to press on your on the red cross well the black cross this time <laughs> and every tool is black and uh, I love black it's a classy color for me maybe it's a personal opinion but I really think this one is very classy I'm gonna put it back using the tool I guess with the years these are going to stretch out but for the moment I prefer to use the watch opener this one is a skipper navy camouflage uh, as you maybe already know I love the navy camouflage this one is the rescue tool this one is special because you've got um, a window breaker here and it's the only one that's got this option which is kind of special and very useful too um, this one is the forester wood this one is the spartan wood I love them both because they're in wood then we've got all the precious alox well not all I uh, I prefer these colors this one is uh, hazel brown this one they call it well it's red but they, cl they call it iconic iconic red um, and the pink one I love it too if you were wondering maybe what was the difference between the precious alox and um, the classic alox here you can see you've got this very shiny finish on your knives which kind of make them precious I guess uh, well this one is the classic SD uh, fresh peach um, here you've got the classic SD 2021 2022 and this one is very special gonna use my watch opener again here is the Wenger well it's a re-edition of the Wenger because maybe you didn't know about that but there used to be two uh, manufacturers that were making uh, Swiss knives Swiss army knives there used to be Wenger and Victorinox and uh, a few years back Victorinox bought Wenger and so they made this re-edition of the Wenger you see the logo is not the same so to me it's quite a collector one Oh, here you go the onyx uh, signature light from the same collection as the ranger 55 it's also all black which i love and uh, here is a special one it's uh, a limited edition from 2013 um, it's the explorer damast edition And here you can see it has been signed by Carl Elsner. It's the president of uh, Victorinox, the company. And the blade is all damaged. The other tools are not damaged, but it would have been too much and very expensive uh, I really love the Explorer because you know if you were in the wood you could make maybe a fire using this magnifying glass um, here is the Winter Magic uh, 2021 edition uh, it came out uh, last uh, autumn uh, uh, yes I'm quite a geek because I, I let the a little ring package yeah yeah I'm a nerd uh, here is the pioneer X uh, winter magic edition it was in 2020 if I'm not mistaken um, this one is the limited edition 2021 
It's the Pioneer Alux from uh, 2021 and this one from 2022. This one, I love it a lot. It's the Huntsman Navy Camouflage. This one is quite special. Um, it's a collectible one. It's the Spartan um, designed by Bugley. Bugley is a Swiss watch brand. And uh, this one, as you can see, um, is the descent from the Alpine. So here you've got little flowers and uh, on the back uh, in summertime, uh, we have to, well, we, we make the cows go eat the grass from the mountains because the grass is better. But uh, when, it's, when winter comes, we have to bring them down because it's going to be too frisky, too, too cold in the winter. That's what is represented on this knife. Uh, so this one is a huntsman and it's also a collectible one. Uh, what's represented on it, or oh, maybe you cannot see it well, but it, it's the Battle of Naples. And uh, they made a bunch of, uh, of knives of huntsmen. Uh, with all the battles that made Switzerland um, a confederate and free country. This one is very special. It's a climber and it's an old climber that's pretty rare because it's got a file, but not a regular file. It's got a long Pointy This one is quite old, I guess. I'm not sure exactly, but it's not a regular climber. Also, it doesn't have the ring, but still is a climber. As you can see, it's got all the options of the climber here. The main blade and the scissors, of course. Scissors and corkscrew. So this one is amazing. Sadly, we cannot sell them online anymore. But we do have three last models that we sell at the shop itself for very big fans of uh, Swiss Army knives or collectors. And uh, on the last panel here, I put all the classic SDs. Well, uh, I didn't put the classic classic ones, as I could say. I put only the limited editions. So um, on the top, I've chosen um, four limited editions of uh, 2021. The limited editions of 2021 were designed by fans of Swiss Army Knives. Um, this one is quite cool. Seems like a little fevers. And, the, and those are my favorites from uh, the 2021 collection. Here. So these ones are the classic SDs uh, limited edition from 2020 and uh, uh, the theme was uh, sports so here you've got a uh, scuba diver on this one uh, it's it's written gone fishing uh, oh this one was uh, it's quite partic particular it was made for the Fevi it's um, a festival we make in Switzerland each 20 years and so this one has been done for that event which makes him a little more special than the other ones, at least to a Swiss. And uh, well, that's it for the 2020. And those ones are the limited edition Classic SD from 2019. Uh, the theme was about foods around the world. So uh, here you can see popcorns, uh, a tacos, uh, banana split, <laughs> and uh, gingerbreads. Uh, quite like the gingerbread. Uh, on the last line, I put all the, the camouflage styles. So you've got the classic SD Navy camouflage. 
Uh, this one is the nail clip 480 uh, in camouflage, uh, the classic camouflage, the original camouflage. And the last one is also a classic SD, but desert camouflage. And so, voila! So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.